This is the debate for Fulton County District Attorney. Let's meet the candidates. Christian Y. Smith is an author and attorney. Fonnie Willis has served as Fulton County District Attorney since 2021. Ms. Willis declined to participate in the debate and is represented by an empty podium. So here we have Fulton County DA Fannie Willis, AKA Ms. Cash Hoard. My words, Cash Hoard that you had collected over time. Cash what? Hoard, H-O-R-D-E. Oh, I thought you said something different. Instead of debating, Willis decided to co-host a self-care fair, which I'm not even entirely sure what that is. But regardless, it did give us some hilarious footage where her opponent got to address the empty podium in the room. That concludes the first round. In the second round, the candidates asked questions of each other. Since Fonnie Willis declined to participate, Christian Y. Smith, you may pose a question to the empty podium. You also have 30 seconds to provide a rebuttal to how you feel your opponent would have responded. Hey, Ms. Willis, how you doing? Uh, my question for you is, where are you? You know, I'm here because I care about the citizens and the families of Fulton County, but it's my understanding that, you know, you may have attended the White House Correspondents' Dinner, you may be fundraising across the country, but what about us here in Fulton County? What are you doing to address the issues in the jail? What are you doing to address the backlog? Where are you, Ms. Willis? That's what we want to know. Do you have a rebuttal? Well, you know, I can't speak for Ms. Willis, you know, as she's not here. Uh, and I think that her absence is all the response that we need. There's also a new lawsuit against Willis pertaining to a stalker and how she handled charges against him. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis now being sued by a state lawmaker. Republican Representative Misha Maynard says Willis, among others, didn't do enough to prosecute Maynard's stalker and even worked to help him get less jail time. Maynard was stalked in 2019 by a former staffer who was working on her state house campaign at the time. She was granted a restraining order after his behavior became, quote, unruly and belligerent, according to the lawsuit. But Maynard is accusing District Attorney Fonnie Willis and Fulton County Commissioner Marvin Arrington, who is also her stalker's defense attorney, of working together to craft a plea deal and downgrade her stalker's charges from a felony to a misdemeanor without telling Maynard. He ended up serving no additional jail time, and Maynard said filing a lawsuit became her only option. Staying in Fulton County, we're going to take a look at the Fulton County Board of Commissioners, which had a heated debate about animal control services, and it just went off the rails. The background for the argument that's about to be shown is in Fulton County, well, in Georgia, the Constitution requires in order to have animal control services, you have to have a contract that's signed. Apparently, the county did not have a contract that was signed. They were trying to figure it all out. And what you're about to watch is the meeting that ensued. I just pray no one gets hurt. I mean, this is, uh, so I heard the county attorney very closely. She said there needs to be a contract and it needs to be on the record. A signed letter of intent is in fact a contract. So all we got to do is put it on the record. I just pray no one gets hurt. I just pray no one dies. Right is right and wrong is wrong, but life is life. Life is life. And this isn't about right and wrong. This is about saving lives. We operated without one from January to now. So, <laughs> What's the problem with giving them time to have another council meeting? We had a spring break. We didn't meet last week like we were supposed to. They didn't meet like they were supposed to. They're gonna take it up at their next meeting. It's an ordinance, it requires two meetings. We got a signed letter of intent. Shut up. Just come on, just a minute. Just Shut up, I'm talking. Just just a minute. You're I'm not talking, talking to me. Shut You're up. not talking Just to me. Minute. Shut up. I'm talking. Make me. I'm talking. Make me. I'm talking. Make me. It's my time. Just a minute. Make it's me. my time. Make Just me shut up. It's my time. I didn't think so. Yeah. So, Is that off? No, I'm yeah. not on. I'm still no, it's not. It's well, it's, it's re recording well. is off. Now, just well. a minute. Just a minute. Vice, well. vice Chair, Vice, vice Chair, well. Mr. Aaron, you have the floor for Mr. Aaron. Okay, That's what the county attorney just said. 
I just pray nobody loses their lives. Sir, uh, Mr. Barrister, would you, just for the record, so we get all the facts out, I would like for you to let the board know what the, what the activity has been with respect to animal control services in the city of Atlanta since, well, actually the 4th, the 5th, the six, up until today, by day, if you have that, if you have that uh, information. And the other point that we need to clarify here is that some believe that, that we're asking the cities to pay for the brand new facility. That's incorrect. What we're talking about here is only the operational cost of that facility. The county is bearing the total cost of the construction of the new facility. And the third point that comes, second point rather that comes up is that when we look at this, of whatever the cost of operations is, and I'll put this on the record, 86% uh, of that cost is borne by four cities. City of Atlanta, East Point, the city of South Fulton, and Union City. And the reason for that is that's where the calls come from. And 55% of all calls come from the city of Atlanta. Sir. Uh, good afternoon, Commissioner. Um, yes, that's correct. So uh, since Thursday, we've, uh, we've had about 40 dogs brought to the shelter from Atlanta residents um, since Thursday. Uh, I, I mean, there's a breakdown, but there's, um, we've averaged, I mean, we do over 4,000 dogs a year from the city of Atlanta uh, into the shelter, uh, not counting, uh, you know, that's not response, uh, responses to the city. This is what's actually brought into the shelter. Dogs coming in into intake. Um, so we've had some that have been um, needed medical care. And um, my conversation with county leadership was, you know, we're not, we're not going to turn them away. They're showing up at the shelter and they need a medic, you know, they're medically, there's a medical issue with one. We've been taking them. Um, there is actually, but, but the citizens are bringing them, and we've kind of seen that along the way. If we said, no, don't leave them here, I mean, we know they're going to be uh, tied up in, you know, on a fence line outside the shelter. Uh, so as far as the care for the animal, we've been receiving them if they get there. Um, as far as calls for service, we have been fielding some phone, um, some phone calls, uh, transferring back to Atlanta, um, redirecting people to Atlanta's 311. But we have been fielding... Um, Quite a bit of calls at the shelter from Atlanta residents, um, and we've been kind of guiding them as best we can. Uh, it, it, and just one more thing, so when, just to give you a comparison, I, I know because we just received some calls from the breakdown, some of the cities did ask that, but just real quick, we did compare to six other jurisdictions, and we narrowed it down to the two that were the closest. One was uh, Charlotte, Mecklenburg, North Carolina, one was Orange County, Florida. So when we did this cost comparison, um, I actually visited those shelters and I sat with their folks and kind of looked at their processes and you're absolutely correct. There is a, we're not solving the bigger issue here, which is, but at this point, we are working through those issues with community education and other things that we've started uh, since we hired a, a division chief over animal services. All right, thank you. Commissioner Ellis. So letters of intent aren't legally binding, right? I was trying to chime in earlier, but my microphone was not working. Yeah. I did want to make a note for the record that a letter of intent is a promise to enter into a promise. It is not legally binding. Yeah. And even if it could be, the mayor has already specifically represented to you, Mr. Chairman, and to this board that he is without authority to bind the city of Atlanta in this matter without an action by the city council. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. Uh, kind of Lucy, she's going to. She's going to hold it in place just this time for you, Charlie Brown. Ultimately, what ended up happening was the Fulton County Board of Commissioners approved an intergovernmental agreement with the city of Atlanta, which would resume animal control services within the city limits. Nonetheless, thanks for the content, Fulton County. Shut up! Just come on. Just a minute. Just Shut up! I'm talking! Just just a minute. You're not talking, talking to me. Shut You're up. not talking to me. Shut up. I'm talking. Make me. I'm talking. Make me. Make me.